Okay, we're looking at problem or question three in our free response two assignment. And in this question, we have a country X and a table showing the unemployment rate and the inflation rate for last year and this year. And they're saying this change from last year to this year is due to a shift in aggregate demand. Well, we don't have to draw this a graph. It's, it's not asking us to draw the aggregate demand and, and the supply, but we still want to understand how this happens. So we have a rise in unemployment and a drop in the overall price level because the inflation rate has been cut in half here from 8 to 4%. So if we go back to our original graph, we can see that a leftward shift in the aggregate and the aggregate demand would cause the employment number, the employment rate to fall, which is the opposite of the, un, un, the rate of unemployment rising. So this shift here to the left of the aggregate demand would cause a drop in overall real GDP, which means higher unemployment, and also a drop in overall price level, which means a lower rate of inflation. So that's what's going on to cause this graph right here. Now what they're asking us to do is to draw this, which is the Phillips curve. Oh, let's jump back over to make sure. Uh, yeah. And we want to draw the, we, we, we want to begin with just drawing the short run of Phillips curve, which is going to be downward sloping. And we want to we want to assume that the short run, the short run aggregate supply shifts to the left. Now that's part of B. So let's make sure we get part A done. So let's jump back over here. So you want to just draw without this curve to begin with, without this second curve. You just want to draw the basic Phillips curve that shows these points. So you want to put your unemployment rate on the horizontal axis, and you want to have two and five percent. Marked and the two percent needs to match up right here with the four percent uh, up here, I should say, up here. Sorry, with the eight percent inflation rate and the five percent unemployment rate this year needs to match up with a lower with the lower inflation rate of four percent right here. So this is a downward sloping curve. So the first part of the part A should look like this without this second shift this second uh, short run uh, Phillips curve right here. And then for part B, you simply add this in because what's, what's happening in part B is that we are assuming that the short run aggregate supply curve shifts to the left. Now, if we go back to our, well, actually, I have it right down here. Now, you, you don't have to, to, to draw this, but I just want to show you what's going to happen. If the aggregate, if the short run aggregate supply shifts to the, the left, that's what, that will raise a price levels, and it will, which will raise inflation at every level of unemployment. So there, there, there's, a, there's a shift here. So you're going to have a higher price level at every output level here, but if we just keep our if we just keep our aggregate demand curve where it is, we can see where we're going to have a drop in overall output, which means a higher rate of unemployment. We'll have more folks in the economy unemployed with this shift, with this movement here in real uh, GDP p to the left which is a decrease okay so uh so we, 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 we uh, so, sorry sorry so this is what you want to draw right here so this shows now with the uh, leftward shift of the aggregate supply at every level of un of uh, unemployment the price level is higher right and then at every a price level, the level of unemployment is higher, which means things just get worse, right? So what could cause this? Well, what could cause a shift in the su su supply, in the aggregate supply, is any kind of shift in supply cost. 
So you could say that um, it could be any kind of in increase in factor input uh, prices, uh, production costs, expected inflation. If 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 the news is saying, and if the uh, predictions is there's going to uh, be inflation, that could also cause a shift to the left in the supply, in the aggregate, the supply. Um, and also in, an increase in a business taxes, which would increase uh, the cost of a production. So a business the taxes going up would also cause the aggregate supply to shift to the left. So those are all answers you can use there. Okay. We've already shown what this would uh, look like on the short run of Phillips uh, curve for part B2, which is right here, right? And part C, let's see. This is a little, a little bit off here. C should be up here. Okay. So we, 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 uh, we want to assume that the natural rate of unemployment in country X is 5%. Draw a correctly labeled graph of the long run of uh, Phillips curve and label it LRPC, long run of Phillips curve. And then what is the relationship between the, un the rate of unemployment or the unemployment rate and the inflation rate in the long run? Well, let's do this part first, and I'm simply going to add this in. So if the long, if the natural rate of unemployment is 5%, we want to put this guy right here. Okay, let me scoot this over. And label this long run Phillips curve right here. So you, so you can just add it in. You, you don't need to really draw a whole new graph. You can just add that in right there. And label it. And make sure you have it at the 5 uh, at the 5% level of unemployment. Now you can see, since this curve is vertical, that it's perfectly inelastic. In other words, it doesn't respond at all. Inelastic, perfectly vertical. It doesn't respond at all to a price changes. This is in the long run. This is making the assumption that price levels and wages adjust so that uh, they're so because they're so that the relative differences are end up being the same. So, for example, if um, we have inflation that causes you to everything to cost five percent more a year, then what we're saying is in the long run, wages will go up five percent so that you're basically at the same place that you started so that the the inflation rate is taken out of the equation because everything equalizes so that we come back to the natural rate of unemployment, which is five percent percent in this uh, scenario, okay? And I believe that, so you, so you just want to say that, um, that you, know, you can also say there's no uh, a trade-off. There's no relationship or a trade-off between inflation and unemployment in the, long, in the long run. And that answers, I believe, part D or part two or whatever it is. Part, yeah, D, okay. So that takes care of problem three. Now, remember, the only graph that you really have to draw here is this one right here. But these are a useful, this one is a useful in understanding. Oh, also, I just wanted to remind you, when you have this left shift of the short run, of the short run aggregate supply, and you have a rise in the price levels, and your output goes down, we call that cost push inflation or stag inflation. You have a lower output plus higher price levels or higher inflation, higher in higher inflation, which is which is uh, doubly bad. Okay, that takes 
care of your free response. That finishes up in your free response to assignment. 